Hello and welcome. Today we're going to start looking at the Poisson distribution. Uh, no, it's not named after our fishy friends here. Uh, it's in fact named after the great mathematician and statistician Simeon Poisson. Now to introduce it, I'm taking it back to the 2016 Summer Olympics in Brazil. While it was a fabulous success, by some accounts, uh, it was overshadowed in the run-up by this little fella, the mosquito, who was bearing what's known as the Zika virus. And that affected pregnant women, uh, in particular, who sometimes gave birth to children with particularly small heads and smaller brains. Now, the interesting thing about the Zika virus is uh, its rate of growth. A number of cases reported. Essentially, back in November of 2015, the cases were like this. And then through to the spring of 2016, this trend happened. An exponential increase in cases reported. Now, if you're a hospital, you really want to be able to predict on any given day what's the probability that I get maybe 5, 10, 15 new cases coming through my door. So I can plan things like staffing, drugs, and those sorts of things. And the Poisson distribution helps us model cases like this. So let's break down what this exponential thing actually is. Um, On your calculator, and on my, my trusty sharp calculator here, uh, the exponential is e to the power of x. And what it's working out is e to the power of x is 1 plus x to the power of 1 over 1 factorial, plus x to the power of 2 over 2 factorial, plus x to the power of 3 over 3 factorial, all the way up to... Uh, x to the r over r factorial. Probably like almost infinite on your calculator. So why don't you have a work, go, working out e to the power of 1. So we're going to replace all our x's with a 1. 1 squared over 2 factorial. Okay, how about you try and work out the first five terms and see what it comes to. Great, you should have found that this came to something like 2.716666 uh, recurring. Now, on your calculator, try typing in, if you can see that, e to the power of 1 and see what you get. So it comes out as 2.71828. And you can see the first three numbers nicely match up. And in fact, if you go back to your other calculation and add in a 1 to the 6, you'll see that that comes out as 2.71805. So now the first four figures match up. Of course, the more you add in, the closer you get to your calculator's uh, result. <clears throat> now, why have I told you this? Just to make you aware of where the whole thing comes from. Now, what we're doing with this magical E thing does exist as something else uh, and not just some random made up number. Right, so let's look at, uh, let's, let's, let's take this back slightly. Here's your Poisson bit about it now. So we're gonna replace the X with a lambda. Now one, you can write as lambda to the power of zero because anything to the power of zero is just one. So lambda to the zero plus rather than x using lambda over one, uh, one factorial plus lambda squared over two factorial plus lambda cubed over three factorial, etc. All the way again up to lambda r over r factorial. So here we're starting our model of the Poisson. Now the Poisson, we define lambda 
as the rate, the average number of occurrences. So, for example, for example, the uh, number, the rate of occurrences of cases of Zika on one day in a hospital, the average number of cases. Um, now, this is a sum, an addition. And as you know, in probability, if you add up all the probabilities, you should get to one whole. So how do you make this one? So how do you get one equals something? Well, you divide it by itself. You know, two divided by two is one. 10 divided by 10 is also one. So e to the power of lambda divided by e to the power of lambda is also going to be one. If you divide this term by e to the power of lambda, we've got to divide every other single term in this list. You know, you can have a go in actually writing what this should be once you've divided it. Go pause it, have a go at trying to complete the rest of this. So you should have ended up with something like this, where each term has been divided by e to the power of lambda. Now, remembering your indice skills, uh, we can write 1 over e to the power of lambda as e to a negative power. Now, just like you had, you know, x to minus 2 is the same as 1 over x squared, that minus sign means uh, it's 1 over something. So actually, we're going to take all of these e terms to the top and have, this is now going to be 1, 1 equals lambda 0, e to minus lambda, plus lambda to the 1, e to minus lambda, over 1 factorial, plus lambda, so this term here, lambda squared, e to the minus lambda, over 2 factorial, plus, etc., all the way to lambda to the power of r, e to the minus lambda over r factorial. And that is your Poisson distribution. Okay, so you're thinking, what the heck is that? How on earth do I even start to use that thing? Well, here we go. <laughs> Let's take it in a table. Our table is going to look like this. Uh, righty ho, here we go then. So here's our x. Our x is, uh, let's define it as the number of times in a given spit in a given period, number of occurrences that an event occurs in a given time. So for example, um, if you're looking at Zika viruses per day, it'd be like, you know, five occurrences per day or ten occurrences per day. Now you get one, zero cases, one case, two case, three case, four case, five case, etc. Uh, up to R cases. Uh, so R is your number of trials, if you like. which is technically infinite in the Poisson. And the probability that on any given day you have this number of cases is, well, zero is our first term. So that's going to be, well, lambda power zero is just one. So e to minus lambda. Times having one case is going to be e to minus lambda times lambda over one factorial. Two cases, I oh, think it's far too small. Two cases, e to the minus lambda times lambda squared over two factorial. Three cases, you might get the idea about now. Over, let's just spread this out a little bit. Uh, so that's two, that's three, all the way up to r cases. e to the minus lambda over lambda to the r over r factorial. So if I say the chance having three cases on a given day, you'd use 
this bit here. Remember, e is on your calculator, and this exponential function is on your calculator, and lambda is our rate of occurrence, our average if you like, and three is the number of cases that happen.